you are considering Fidelity Investments as an online broker and are curious about the app and key information regarding the platform, then this video is for you. The Fidelity Investments app is an award-winning app to manage and research investments. However, it can be very overwhelming and confusing. This video is going to provide a tutorial and overview of the Fidelity Investments app. The Fidelity app is free to download for both iOS and Android devices. In order to fully access the app, you will need to sign up for an account. A brokerage account takes only a few minutes to create. However, transferred funds take between one to three business days to settle. Fidelity offers a $0 account minimum and $0 trade fees for stocks, options, and ETFs. In addition, Fidelity offers a wide variety of financial products, including mutual and index funds, bonds, retirement services, and wealth management. Once you have created an account and log in, this is your standard default homepage. This homepage can be customized by clicking the top right profile icon and or the three dot menu just to the left. Hitting the profile icon button, scroll down to layout. So there are three layout options, the account screen layout, quotes display, and the navigation bar. So we're first gonna go over the navigation bar as it is on the home screen of the app. This is a split screen of the different layouts side by side. The left side is the standard navigation bar with investing, planning, and discover shortcuts. While the classic bar to the right has markets as an option, watch lists, and the discover shortcut. The difference is essentially having a shortcut to overall financial market news and information, as well as quick access to your watch list. The standard version has the investing shortcut to your positions and the planning goals and tab. The planning tab is essentially for debt plans, asset value, spending tracking, credit scores, and more. In addition, you can customize the account screen with single screen or tabs layouts. The quotes display also can be customizable. It has a list view option, or you can use the details option layout. If you head up to brokerage and trading, you can also adjust the trade experience and gestures. The trading experience options are single screen or multi-step screens. It is best to play around with the different layout settings in order to get the right fit for you. Other important information on the profile icon, you have accessibility, your beneficiaries, bank account information, different alerts and notification settings. You can find your tax forms, the customizable layout options that we just went over, and you can find your general settings. The general settings have your session login or log out timeout information. You can set up face ID, or you can set up the authenticator app for different security options, as well as some other visual options, such as heat maps, which will turn your stocks red or green, depending on how they're doing. You can also play around with the different lighting of the app. You can have the light option, which is standard default, or you can use the dark background as shown. Now heading back to the standard default homepage of the app, the homepage has a financial market snapshot, your portfolio value with a line graph to match, and access to your activity and your portfolio positions. The top right has a magnifying glass for quote searches. This is to search for a security or a stock directly and begin researching it. And you can buy or sell the security right from the research tab. So heading back to the home screen, we're going to scroll to the bottom and check out the account tab, the activity tab, and the all positions tab. By clicking on your account, you can actually find your current balance details and tradable and settled cash. This is very important to know, especially for day trading and to avoid good faith violations. If you scroll down, you will find asset allocation of your securities as well as access to your positions. The activity tab has your orders placed. This could be your limit orders, stop losses, trailing stop losses, etc. This tab also has all your account history, trades, deposits, withdrawals, dividends, etc. There are filters for the transaction types, 
and the time duration. Now you might need to use the desktop version for older statements. To access your positions, you can click all positions or the investings tab at the bottom. This is the breakdown of your investments with current prices, percentages, the amount gained, plus your overall gains and losses, as well as your stock and security price averages. Making a trade or a transaction using the app. In order to make a trade or a transaction using the Fidelity app, you can hit the green center button at the bottom bar. You will have the trade option, you'll have a transfer option, an automate option, which is a recurring investment option or transfer, the option to deposit, the option to send money to pay bills, or you can send money to PayPal and or Venmo. And the last tab is to buy CDs. Now to make a trade, simply click trade and you're gonna search by name or stock symbol. In addition, you can access the trade option by researching with the magnifying glass as stated previously from the homepage or using the discover tab at the bottom right. Once you hit the security or the stock that you want to purchase or make a transaction with, you will have a snapshot of the stock chart quote information with all different stats and news. The research tab has additional information such as revenue, dividend information, earning reports, and some other key statistics. Now when ready to trade, select buy or sell. If you wish to buy whole shares or fractional shares with dollar amounts, you wanna select that. Then you're going to select the order type. The Fidelity app offers the option for market order, limit orders, stop loss, stop limit, trailing stop losses, and limits. Now, if you're not sure about these types of trades, you can simply click the learn more about the order types at the bottom, and that will explain each of the different types of orders. Once you completed the order, hit preview, and then you're going to submit the order. Again, you can check the order status under activity orders. Define your watch list using the app. In the standard mode, click investing, then select to the watch list tab in the middle. Now, if you want to edit this watch list, you're going to hit the three dot menu. You're going to add securities or stocks with the plus symbol. And you're going to delete using the minus symbol. Again, you can customize to the classic mode for the shortcut icon of your watch list to be right at the bottom bar, or you can access it this way. Now the market research is the third tab. This is for overall financial and global news, including market movers, sector performances, etc. The discover tab at the bottom right of the standard bar is your investment and research center. Note, the app has limitations and the desktop version has a much more robust stock screener and is easier to use. This section has all sorts of information about active gainers, losers. You can also click on the different themes. It has these collection themes such as crypto information, growth stock, index funds, CDs, mutual funds, etc. Another piece of information to know is that in order to trade crypto directly, you must set up a Fidelity Crypto Fund account, but you can invest in crypto ETFs with your regular brokerage account. If you click on the different themes, it's going to give you some options to research within that theme. In addition, you can search for different securities by sector. You can view Fidelity's customer trends, stock valuations, and some expert picks. If you need more help using the app, you can go to the profile icon, then you're gonna to scroll to the bottom where it says, get help, contact us. Now you can call Fidelity, you can ask the AI assistant chat, or you can find a store locator near you for more in-person help using the app. So overall, the Fidelity Investments app is a great app for investing, especially for beginners. It can be a little overwhelming, but once you get used to it and you customize it to your likings, it definitely is an efficient app on the go. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.